all right what's up guys uh i know it's been a while i haven't been really posting like at all i literally posted the first video of my setup and then i posted like another little kind of challenge thing and i just i don't know i don't know what to say i just i just fell off not fell off but you know what i mean anyway so today i'll be showing you what i got in this box now and just like pretty much my setup just an updated video of my setup uh, yeah, hopefully you stick around. Hopefully you like the video. Make sure you uh, like, comment, and subscribe. And then let's get right into the video. All right, so pretty much you guys saw I put that little clip together of me put it taking everything out, but pretty much, sorry about that. This is everything I use. It's still all kind of the same. Actually, not really, like at all. Uh, I have this still, the same thing. I'm still using the same box of this. I actually have been cutting like a lot of hair since the last video, but I had a huge box of Sandex and I just haven't run out. Uh, I have two of these out every time just cause that's usually how what it takes to like hold up the hair um i got the one and a half guard i got the half guard right here uh i got the all new the premium guards i have this comb that i got with the magic clips i got these two small brushes i got the slim lines i got the shavers uh i got the main tame shaving gel i do do not shaves but it's just for lineups just in case they have like a lot of um grow back a lot of the stubble i use that just in case uh, I got the Oster, I got the, the, what's it called, Pinod, Aftershave, same duster, and his Cool Care, Clubman, and then a water bottle. Uh, yeah, I'm not, as you can see, it's not all top notch. I mean, it might be for some people, I get it, but like the water bottle, just the basic water bottle. Uh, I'm still in the garage, as you can see, I have an updated version of that, but still in the garage nothing's really changed i do have a pair of outliners and a pair of detailers um the detail i i personally don't really like these they're just too wide for me the blades i do have a pick you know comb scissors stuff like that um i did buy a couple of these ceramic blades for my oster fast feeds i'll get to that later in the video but they kind of pretty much just they ran out on me i don't know what to say i got all my chargers in there and yeah so that's pretty much it for my setup i'll get in depth into each kind of thing i'll give you a little pointers about my tools but that's pretty much it for the actual setup and yeah let's see that let's see what we got next is i have a chair my bad i really i got this chair for uh what did i get it for my birthday i got it for a 100 bucks off offer up i'm not gonna lie to you it's 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 nice like it, it's 100 bucks i bought it with this the the leather or whatever you want to call it coming off ripped a little bit but 100 bucks for this chair man it, it it reclines it spins everything it works good it has uh rubber stoppers on the bottom down here uh yeah it, it like has the rubber right there like there's nothing wrong with the hydraulics or anything it's it works perfectly fine the only thing was the the arms so yeah that's the chair way better than that thing right there and oh yeah right here the supreme louis vuitton cape got that for someone and yeah that's pretty much that's the whole gist of it and then now i'm gonna go into detail with all my tools so start off with the magic clips i don't know when i got these to be honest i kind of forgot but my oster fast feeds were not getting through bulk i didn't know what to do it was really hard and just it, it was really hard i didn't know what to do i wanted new clippers and I did a lot of research. It says that magic clips were really good for all around. And I'm not going to lie to you. They really are. Like, there's nothing that they can't do. Obviously, there's clippers that are going to do better at bulk removal. But it can do the job. Unlike the Oster Fast Feeds, which I would go through the hair and it'd struggle. It'd like, it's not like the head thing almost turned off. But that's why I have these ceramic blades right here. I bought them for uh, the Osters. But they didn't fit. I, didn't, I don't know what to do. So if any of you want this, 
and we're willing are willing to pay for shipping you guys can have these um so yeah that's pretty much it for the magic clips they work really good this lid came off i don't know how it doesn't go back on and uh yeah i still have the same slim lines I haven't done anything to them i might have zero gapped them a little bit just a little bit but yeah it's got the same shavers you saw all that i haven't cleaned them definitely gonna clean them before this haircut though i usually i clean them before every haircut every tool i clean them before every haircut but yeah just trust uh the premium guards work really good haven't been re really been able to use all the high guards but use these ones a lot especially the one and a half and the half we use those every haircut um duster i if anyone has tips any other barbers i feel like there's a lot of hair stuck in here and i don't know how to get it out because sometimes i dust people off and there's hair going onto them so i don't know how to do that if someone wants to help with that um after shave after every haircut this whenever i need to this after every haircut before every haircut you know the deal with all this stuff man uh, my grandpa got me these from a friend in dialysis that was a barber. He gave him to this for a couple hundred, not a couple hundred, it was this, uh, an Oster, uh, an old school Oster uh, detachable clipper that I don't know how to work. And then these detailers. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, uh, the scissors have the same scissors. I definitely need to get those sharpened. I have some thinning, thinning scissors. Those really help. Uh, I got a couple of these the straight razors i got the derbies premiums just got a bunch of random crap in here these hair grippers i got for free for ordering the clippers right there the magic clips but to be honest i don't i don't like them at all the chair uh yeah i think i said it earlier but it does recline i'm not gonna recline it because someone has to be sitting in it or i have to push it and i can't really do that with one hand but yeah it spins everything it's it's pretty good uh yeah that's it uh, I'm, I'm gonna talk to you guys i'm gonna talk to you guys about just personal things personal like not issues but i'd say things that would help with the starting barbers i actually just got a dm from a barber that said he saw my uh youtube channel and he's not really a barber yet but he said he's 16 wants to be a barber i give him some pointers so yeah if you guys have any questions just let me know and now i'm gonna get to some some more detailed things. All right, so some things I, that might help you guys. If you guys are like beginning barbers, you you don't have a nice chair, like I didn't have a nice chair, or you don't have the best tools, you just got to make sure that you do the best you can. And it's not just the best you can with the clippers you have, the best you can with like your personality and stuff like that. Like I have a, a stereo in here and I hook up my phone. I make sure it's not like awkward. I mean, I talk to my clients, like every client, no matter if they're new, or, like, you know what I mean? But I talk to every client. Um... Make, yeah, like I said, make sure you talk to them. Like, if you don't talk to them, it's just going to be awkward. They're not really going to want to come back. And even if you don't know them, ask them what they do. Oh, how's, your, how's school? How's work? Something like that, you know? Like, just start a conversation. Um, and then some other pointers. Oh, I know it's not easy to get, a, like, air conditioning. And, like, most people do it in their garages. But whatever you got, like, try and make it cool if it's hot. Because it, it's definitely uncomfortable to be hot while you're getting your hair cut and sweating. And it's hard for me if or me or as in barbers if they're sweating. You know what I mean? So just try to invest in something, some kind of air conditioning or like a fan. That fan doesn't really work, but I bought a portable air conditioner. And just try to make the customer or client like as comfortable as you can, if you know what I mean. Um, and I know it's hard with mo like money wise to do that, but just do the best you can like and then also like a big pointer i started to become a barber not just because i needed money but because when i go to a barber shop i know like barbers nowadays they don't understand what we want like you, you'll show them a picture or like you'll say it what you want and they don't really make sure with you they just say like, oh, okay and they do what they think so when they're sitting in when they're sitting in the chair and you do the consultation Make sure you know what they want. Like, ask them specific questions and then say, like, I'm sorry if I'm asking too many questions, but I'm just trying to get you what you want, you know? Like, make sure they know why you're asking the questions. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, if you have any questions, like, any questions at all, like, I know I'm not the most experienced barber because I've only been coming, cutting out of my garage for, like, uh, two years now. And, I, yeah, like I said, I know I'm not the most experienced, but if you have any questions, just let me know. I'll put my Instagram in the in the description um so yeah just make sure you guys like comment subscribe like i said earlier 
Uh, turn on the notifications if you want. To be honest, it's kind of hard to post because I play high school soccer and it gets pretty busy, especially with cutting hair. and Like, it's just pretty busy. I know if I actually wanted to post, I would grind, but maybe something this, this break because I'm on break right now and maybe I can post a couple videos. But yeah, just like, like I said, comment, all that good stuff, and I'll see you guys next time.